Belfry. The 60th District Tournament continues tonight. The boys game scheduled to get underway here very shortly. It'll be uh, Belfry and Phelps in the boys nightcap tonight here at Belfry. The Phelps Hornets losers uh, last night uh, coming out uh, on the short end against uh, Pike Central. Of course, uh, Belfry drawing a bye in this tournament. This is uh, the first time we'll see the Pirates in action. Belfry comes into the ball game 6 and 17. Phelps 0 and 19 on the season. So looks like Phelps will be the visitor. So we'll let you go ahead and start the lineup for us, bro. Okay, here we go. It's Josh Daniels, one of the starters tonight. Josh Stratton, number 20, at guard. At forward, Justin Mayhorn. In the middle, Melvin McCoy. And the other forward, senior number 42, Eddie Gentry. Or Edward, as they say down at the uh, scores table. Eddie Gentry is uh, the fifth starter tonight for Phelps. Coach Dale Hunt of uh, the Phelps Hornets. Now the Belfry Pirates. At guard, Doug Howard. A senior, David Curry, starting at the other guard. So apparently a three guard offense. Chase Priest in the middle. Zane Smith in the middle for Belfry. Clifton Hatfield will be the other starter for the Belfry Pirates here tonight. Was looking for uh, Paul Howard and apparently he's not uh, with the team. He's um, re-injured that back. He is out for the season. So I was watching him warm up down there. I didn't think I saw him and he certainly wasn't introduced. So uh, out for the rest of the year. So another injury to a very vital part of this Belfry team. Getting ready for the uh, tip off of tonight's game with the play by play. Here's Charlie Pinson. Thank you very much, Bo. And we're ready to go. Looks like it'll be Stane Smith going against uh, Eddie Gentry here to start this one off. And Dale Conn just about ready to throw the ball up as he's getting everybody set. And there's the whistle. Here's the tip. It'll be Belfry ball as Chase Priest has it in the backcourt. Priest brings it into the front court now trying to set his offense. Belfry usually very methodical. They get it down in the baseline down there to Smith. They try to go inside, knocked away by Gentry. It'll stay with the Pirates. Trying to get it down low, looked like the Hatfield, and nothing there as Belt's playing some pretty tough defense early. Of course, we'll see how well their legs last after the ball game last night. And they get it in, in the middle in there. Curry, he puts it up off the glass, no good fight for the rebound, and Curry comes up with it, tries to throw it down low to Priest, and he'll bring it back out, start the offense again. Priest will take it back to the left side now, kicks it down in the corner. And they bring it back out on top, Hatfield gives it off, and a three by Howard is short. And fight for the rebound, it'll be Phelps coming away with it. Stratton will bring it up the floor. That was uh, Melvin McCoy that came away with the rebound. And now Phelps will try to start on the offensive end. They get it over to Daniels, back across it goes to Stratton, has it knocked away there by Hatfield, and Hatfield goes rolling out. And they get Phelps, keeps the ball, they work it around the top. Out on top now with it, Stratton. Stratton back over to Daniels, back out to Stratton. Trying to get the ball down low here and not much there as this time Daniels open, thought about the shot, now he drives, kicks it back out Stratton, and he'll try to drive again, puts it up off the run, no good, but he's fouled. Well, I think I've seen about four walking calls <laughs> that were not made. Fouls on Smith, and the certainly a big part of this team. Zane picks up his first, team foul number one. And that'll spin Josh. Yep, Josh Stratton. Daniels and Stratton. I got to use those two Joshes again. And Stratton puts the shot up, rolls it in. 
He'll give one more here as Phelps takes the early lead, one to nothing at the 646 mark of the first quarter. Stratton puts up the second one. This one also good. So it's two to nothing. Phelps and I thought they were going to go into some pressure. There was Stratton max up to the mid court stripe to wait on his wait on Priest. Priest out top of the key. Now tries to go down low to Smith. Smith has it. Puts up the shot. No good. And there's going to be a foul over the back on Doug Howard, I believe. I think you're right. Uh, Doug Howard crashing the board and made the contact. His first foul, team foul number two now. And here comes Phelps with the basketball. Stratton again. Very, both teams will be very methodical today. I think try to work it down inside. Of course, you know, Phelps may start off. You know, if they get hopped to the outside, they can fill it up as Josh Daniels had 33, I believe, the other night. And Daniels open, puts up the long three. No good. Rebound by McCoy, and he's fouled as he goes back up with it. And that's Doug Howard, his second personal team foul number three. Yeah, that's uh, Doug, an important part of this Belfry team as he's been a starter all season long, one of their better outside shooters. McCoy puts up the free throw, good. And Phelps has all three of their points from the free throw line here. McCoy will have one more. Okay, change the foul. Oh. Change it to number three and not 30. Okay. McCoy's second shot is no good. And Smith comes away with the rebound, kicks it out quickly to Priest. And Chase Priest will bring it into the front court now, guarded out there by Stratton. He gives it off to Smith. Smith working at high post, and he's going to be called for steps. It'll be Phelps basketball, 6.01 to go. They still lead it three to nothing as been almost two minutes, Belfry unable to put anything on the board. I know Phelps has had a tough record this year, but I still think this could be a very competitive ball game. Now, we talked about that earlier. These team teams fairly evenly matched. The big difference is the size advantage for Belfry on the inside. Especially without uh, Paul Howard in the lineup for Belfry. And Stratton waiting on the defense to come to him out there at the top of the key. Gets it over to Daniels. He'll drive, and he's going to be called for. No, they're going to call the jump ball. I thought he was going to call him for steps there as he made yeah. that little hop move. Saw that quite a bit last night. And it'll be Phelps basketball. McCoy gets it in quickly to Daniels. Daniels tries to go way down into McCoy. It's knocked away by Smith. And the Phelps fans wanting a little over the back on Smith there. A little close. One of those just. <laughs> And Phelps still has it on the top of the key. And Stratton fakes the shot, and he's going to be called for steps. And Phelps with several chances there on that one, just not able to do anything with it. It'll be Belfry basketball. Priest walking it down the floor. Now he's going to bring it up a little bit of speed. And he, got, he took a step there, and Smith puts it up and in. And it's three to two now. Belfry are trailing by one to Phelps. Well, they're letting a lot of things go here tonight yep. in this game. Stratton at the top of the key. Getting set on his offense. Tries to get over to Daniels. He'll put up another three, and this one's good. It's six to two now. Josh Daniels getting a little warmed up out there. Here comes Priest back the other way with it now for Belfry. He's over to Smith. Smith looking, trying to get it down low to Hatfield. Nothing out there. He gets it out this time to, comes out to Priest again. He's out on the left side. Throws it down into the corner down there to Howard to go underneath the shot. Put up, no good in there by Curry. And a rebound comes away to the Phelps Hornets. <laughs> Here comes uh, Stratton back up the floor with it. We get a lot of commentary out of the stands here in front of us, both. This color commentator I was saw to the left of us there. And here comes Phelps back with it again. Stratton gives it over to Daniels. Down in the corner it goes to Hinkle, who's into the ball game. I'm sorry, wrong 33. And on the drive down low is Stratton. He kicks it back out to Daniels. He puts one up from the free throw line and he's fouled. That was Mayhorn for Belfort or for Phelps down low. The personal is against number 22, Clifton Edwards. 
Clifton Hatfield picks up the personal foul. His first team foul number four as Josh Daniels goes to the free throw line for the first time tonight. And the first free throw rolls off. He'll have one more. Thought he had that one and was surprised that it didn't roll in. Daniels with a second free throw, and that was nothing but net. Well, actually, just barely moved the net on that one. And here comes Belfry back the other way with it, Priest. Seven to two, Phelps by five. Priest brings it over to the left side and gets it over there to Howard. Howard will try to drive the lane, puts up the runner, no good. Rebound put back up, no good. Over there by Curry, but he's fouled. And the call from the official, it looks like Melvin McCoy that'll pick it up. And we'll see David Curry at the line shooting two now for the Belfry Pirates. Curry's first shot is no good, rolls off. He'll have one more here. Only two points in the first quarter. We've all, we play over four minutes here for Belfry. And the second free throw, no good. Rebound comes off in there to Mayhorn. And here comes Phelps back the other way again. And Phelps being very patient, had some good looks so far in his first quarter. Stratton and Daniels is open over there. Stratton get it to him and he puts up another three. No good, rebound in there uh, by Belfry. That's Curry with it. And here comes Howard back the other way. Howard gets it back out on top to Priest. Priest will drive in the lane, kicks it over to Hatfield. Back out to Priest. Priest will reset his offense here. Wolfram trying to get it down low to Zane Smith if they can. Curry has it. He's double teamed. Priest will put up the three. Good. Seven to five here, but we have a foul. Or no, we have some blood, I think, on Zane Smith. Well, the forehead is bleeding here, so uh, they'll get him out of the game. And Josh Cullip will check in. May have been a foul in there somewhere than a while ago. <laughs> Or a head butt or something, huh? Have to agree with CC on that one. Say, there's blood. There might have been a foul. <laughs> Here comes Phelps back the other way. It's seven to five now. Two point ball game. And Stratton in the front court gets it over to Daniels. Daniels brings it out the top of the key, kicks it back to Stratton. He fakes the three, drives in the lane, and puts up the shot off the run. No good. Rebound comes in there to Cullip. And here comes Belfry back the other way with Priest. Priest brings it out to the top. He'll reset the offense here. Back to the top of the key again. Now he's going to try to drive. Kicks it back out to Howard. He'll put one up from just about the free throw line. Good. And we're all tied at seven with Doug Howard's two points. Two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Phelps walking it into the front court. Stratton. Stratton out at the top of the key. Fakes the three again. Gives it over on the corner to McCoy. Back to Stratton. They go down in the corner to Mayhorn. He goes down underneath. Shot put up no good in there by McCoy and Howard comes away with the rebound for Belfry. Priest waiting on the offense to come back down the floor. He'll take it over on the left side. Looks like they're trying to get it down low to Cullop and Cullop will put it up. We've got a foul down on the baseline. Going to go against McCoy. That'll be his uh, second personal foul. Cullip has come into the lineup off the bench here, and he's doing a good job. We saw Pike Central, their big men inside, and uh, Cullip's causing some problems right now. Yeah, it, it is a big mismatch in there for Phelps. Cullip makes one of two free throws so far. He'll have one more. It's Belfry's first lead of the ball game, eight to seven. And it comes out, it'll stay there as McCoy comes away with the rebound. Stratton slowly bringing it up the floor again for Phelps. Neither team putting a lot of pressure on out there. Stratton gets it over to Daniels. Daniels tries to go down underneath. Mayhorn fakes, puts a shot up, and he gets fouled. That'll be uh, Howard. Had him down for two already. That'll be his second personal foul. And that'll send Justin Mayhorn to the line to shoot two. And getting ready to check in for Belfry is number 12, Chase Lane. Up, oh, wrong 12. I'll get that right in a minute. I don't have a number 12. That is Matt Maynard. 
Yeah, I've got him there in his teens. I need to change that. Okay. We're tied at eight here. 139 to go in the first quarter. Mayhorn with a free throw coming. Takes his time with it. And it rolls in. It's nine to eight. As we get a substitution now for Phelps and Gabriel Stevens will come in. And Stevens played pretty well last night against Pike Central. Very quick out there. Here comes Belfry the other way with it. That's Lane. I mean, excuse me, Maynard. They kick it back out to Priest. They go in the corner to Hatfield. He'll try to drive, kicks it back outside. And Priest will try three at the top of the key. No good. Smith comes up with the rebound, goes back up with it. And we have a blocking call down inside. Pick up the foul here for him. Looks like it's going to go against C.H. Uh, Smith, who's in the lineup now. That's his first. Team foul number three. Zane Smith misses the first one. He'll have one more. This one could tie it at nine. We've got 119 to go in the first quarter. Zane Smith is so aggressive, he'll uh, shoot a lot of free throws tonight. Usually does. Second free throw is good, and we're all tied at nine all. And here comes Josh Stratton with the ball now for the Phelps Hornets. Looks like a 2-1-2 zone coming up there for Belfry. And let's see, Stratton. Bringing it around up top, waiting for somebody to get it. Gets it off to Stevens. Back to Stratton. Stratton kicks it out to Daniels. Now Daniels will bring it back out top. Kicks it down in the corner, back around the key it goes. Stratton will take it into the paint. Nice pass down underneath, shot up and in by Eddie Gentry. And it's 11-9 Phelps with 41 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Beautiful assist. And Phelps, both teams playing pretty even so far, as the score indicates. Stratton not tall enough to get that steal, but Daniels goes down and gets it, but Cullop takes it away from him, puts it up and in. 11 apiece with 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Apparently, uh, Belfry checking out that Pike Central game. They've got both their big men in the lineup right now. Yep, and they got Stratton out front with it. Daniels drives the paint. I don't have a charging call. That was a pretty good flop, wasn't it? It was, indeed. And that'll be on Josh Daniels, his first, team foul number four. Josh Daniels, his first, team number four. And eight seconds to go here in the first quarter. Priest into the front court with it. Get off. Down in the corner it goes. A shot up by Maynard. Short. And that's the end of the first quarter. Your score is tied 11 all. And we'll be back in just a few minutes on the Intermountain Sports Network. <laughs> oh, you're not going to believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird. We never get hacked. Nope. No, we don't. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Television sponsors for WPRG are Citizens Drug of Phelps, Kent Carter and Mike Lucas, Attorneys at Law, R.S. Jones Funeral Home, Keens Homes, Seasons Inn, Glenn Martin Hammond Law Office, Pikeville Methodist Hospital, Dr. Michael McKinney, the Law Office of Vanover Hall and Bartley, and Appalachian Wireless. Belfry has the ball here to start the second quarter of play. Howard kicks it out to Priest. Back to Howard. Howard back out top to Priest, and they try to get it down low. Phelps knocks it loose, and the ball all over the floor, and finally Stevens comes up with it. Looked like somebody tried to recover a fumble in football in there, Bo. One here. thing about this game, it's been pretty clean as far as the yeah. turnovers are concerned. You're right. And it'll be Stratton in the front court. Of course, both teams have been very methodical about getting the ball down low today, though. Stratton. 
Yeah, up top with it. Belfry putting a little more pressure out on the point. And Phelps trying to work it around. They get it out top to Stevens. Back over to Stratton. And this is Daniels for three. It's good. 14 to 11 now. Second three tonight for Daniels. That's his seventh point. And here comes Belfry back into the front court with it. They try to go cross court. Maynard for three out of the corner. No good. We're going to foul underneath the basket. Offensive foul. We'll pick it up here for you. It's going to go. David Curry, his first, Curry's team six. first team foul number six, as you might have heard in the background. And it'll be Phelps basketball. They lead it by three. Stratton walking it up the floor yet again. And Stratton takes it over and fakes the three, looking for some place to go with it. Finally puts it up from three-point land, rolls off, fight for the rebound. And Stratton goes in, gets his own, puts it off the glass and in. Well, that should have happened. No, nope. should have been, should always block the shooter out, but Belfry yeah. didn't do that. Maynard in the corner, kicks it back out to Priest. Priest back in the corner to Maynard. He steps inside the three-point line, puts it up again too long. Fight for the rebound, and Phelps comes away with it. Daniels has it. And Stratton will walk it up again for the Phelps Hornets. They've taken a five-point lead now with 6-10 to go in the first half. Stratton waiting on the defense to come out there and get him. There's no shot clock in high school ball. Stratton now puts it into play. Kicks it over to Daniels. Daniels puts up another three. It's good. He's about these three out of four from there now, isn't he, Bo? Yes, he is. That's his third three of the night and ten big points of the game. It's a 30-second timeout, 19 to 11, as Phelps taking an eight-point lead in the uh, in the ball game. I tell you, you know, Daniels had a pretty good ball game the other night over there at senior night. At I think he scored 33. Uh, against uh, Allen Central. Yeah. Uh, getting some coaching down here from the fans from Phelps. Nice to have a little help every now and yeah. then. Again, we'll read those 60th District sponsors off for you. It's Appalachian Wireless, the law offices of Van Overhaul and Bartley, Dr. Michael McKinney, Pikeville Methodist Hospital, Glenn Martin Hammond Law Office, Seasons Inn, Keens Homes, the R.S. Jones Funeral Home, Kent Carter and Mike Lucas, attorneys at law, and Citizens Drug of Phelps. And the Phelps Hornets on fire here now. Three out of four, I think, from uh, Josh Daniels from behind the arc. And he puts up Phelps up 19 to 11 here. He and Stratton doing a pretty good job here in the second quarter. Reese in the front court goes down in the corner to Howard. Howard kicks it down low. They, and now they've got Zane Smith in there. He puts up the shot, no good, but he's fouled. Well, that's what I was talking about a while ago when uh, Smith went to the line. He'll do that all night long. He's very aggressive. He'll take it to the bucket, and uh, he'll go to the free throw line a lot because uh, he'll be fouled a lot. Daniels picks up his second personal foul, team foul number five. Smith makes the first free throw. He'll have one more. He walks back up the line, puts the second one up. This one is good as well, and it's 19-13. Phelps Hornets. Stratton again taking his time. Both teams trying to run a very deliberate offense. Stratton fakes the three, gives it over in the corner, back to Stratton. Now he drives, kicks it over to Daniels. He'll put up another three. This one no good. Fight for the rebound, and Smith comes away with it for Belfry. Quickly Maynard trying to get it up to Howard. Howard knocks it out of bounds. It'll go back to the Phelps Hornets. 5-12 now to go in the half. And I just wonder how long Phelps can keep their legs after the ball game they had last night against Pike Central. Well, at the pace they're going, though, it's not hurting them too bad because they're very deliberate. That's true. You know, Belfry playing right into their hands with this kind of a pace as they want to go that way as well. Well, yeah, Belfry likes to keep it half court also. Yep. Steven, they take it down low, and they kick it back out top to Stratton. Stratton takes it down into the paint, kicks it off. The shot up, no good in there by Smith, but he's fouled. Like the way uh, Stratton once again saw the open man. Maynard picking up personal foul. That's team foul number seven, so uh, uh, Phelps in the bonus from here on to the first half. C.H. Smith at the line to shoot two as he was fouled in the act. 
Helps getting some real good looks at the basket here, Bo, is that, that uh, slow-paced offense really working for them. First free throw, no good. I'll tell you something that you see out there, too, is Phelps right now getting a lot of uh, uh, team spirit going, and that yeah. you don't want to see that happen if you're Belfry. Well, here's where you see it when you're tired most of the time. And he makes the second. At the free throw line, they'll come up a little short a lot of times when they're tired. 20, 13, seven point advantage now for Phelps. Priest does kicks it back outside. They try to go underneath again to Smith. He's double teamed, but he's going to be called for steps. It'll go back to Belfry. I mean, back to Phelps as Belfry commits the turnover. Full court pressure now coming by the Pirates. And Phelps. Working the ball up slowly again. Now they're having a problem. Finally, they get it up, and Stratton has it. I mean, Daniels has it in the front court. Go with it, go with it. And he's going to be giving it back to Stratton. Back to Daniels. Daniels is going to drive, puts it off the glass, no good. And Belfry comes away with the rebound. Curry quickly, Priest bringing it up now, takes it down into the lane, puts up the runner, no good, but he's going to be fouled. Probably would have counted if it had gone. And the foul against uh, Josh Stratton. That'll be uh, that'll be his first of the night. Uh, team foul number six. So one more before uh, Belfry is in the bonus. This will be a shooting foul. But one thing you talked about being tired and being deliberate. Phelps, uh, if that press that Belfry put on the last time down the court works, that'll uh, yeah, uh, that'll work on him. And Phelps making some substitutions here. Melvin McCoy coming back into the ball game as well as Mayhorn. The first free throw missed out there by Priest. He'll have one more. 4.08 to go in the half. Second one is good. It's a six point game now, 20 to 14. And we're going to have a foul in the backcourt, I believe. Well, they're holding. Field picking up the first one, his second. It'll cost them 15, I mean, free throws here. <laughs> you used to see in Belfry, you see holding, you figure it's a football game. What's uh, the penalty in the NBA? It used to be the backcourt foul that they used to call. I don't remember how that went. Daniels' first free throw is good. He'll have one more. 21 14 now, the Largest lead equaled by Phelps here at seven. Second free throw is no good, and well, ball loose on the floor, and finally, Belfry runs it down. Here comes Priest walking it up again now for the Pirates. Priest going to take it down the lane, puts up the runner, no good, fight for the rebound, and Howard comes away with it for Belfry. He'll put up a leaner and good. And quickly Phelps beats the pressure. This time Daniels going to the basket and has it knocked out of bounds. Good, Good hustle by, by Doug Howard. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. It's all right. And it'll be Phelps basketball. And Daniels up underneath, puts it up and in. A lot of credit to McCoy who gave it right back to him. 23-16, back to a seven-point advantage for the Phelps Hornets. Quickly, Smith tries to drive, and we have a blocking foul called on Melvin McCoy. Yeah, it's a good call. And that hurt, uh, Charlie, because that's his third personal foul. He'll have to go out here in, in the first half. Once again, we'll see Zane Smith going back to the free throw line. Uh, he will be there quite a bit tonight, as we've said a couple of times. He's three out of four uh, so far. That's five points of the night. Smith second free throws up. Or is that his first one, I guess? I'm sorry. First one went up and in. That's what I get for, for having to talk to somebody. Yeah. Not that you mind that. No, too, not a bit. You know. Second free throw now coming up. And it's good as well. And here comes Phelps back the other way with it. And up in the other end is Stevens. He'll wait on the reinforcements to come up. Gets it back out to Stratton. Stratton takes it over on the right side, or left side, down underneath to Daniels. He puts up the runner and in. So wow. 
Daniels with 15 points so far. Non-existent in the ball game last night, and he's uh, just all over the place tonight. Yeah. Of course, I know the reason for that. Daniels' mother in the hospital, and probably didn't feel like playing very well, very much last night. And Priest has it out on front now for Belfry. Priest kicks it back out to Howard. He'll put up the three, and no good. Five for the rebound, and it'll be Smith coming away with it for Phelps. And here comes the Hornets back the other way. Howard walking it uh, across the <laughs> midcourt strap. He'll take it down into the paint, puts up the runner. It's good. And it's 27 to 18, a nine point advantage, largest of the night now for the Phelps Hornets. 2.20 to go in the first half. And here comes Smith over on the other end. And they working down underneath Howard, puts a shot up off the glass, no good. And a fight for the rebound. Priest puts it up, no good. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Howard back to Phelps. And getting a little rough in there in the paint, looks like, Bo. Well, they want it tonight. And here comes Phelps back the other way. Stevens has it stolen away, but I think he's going to be called for the steps. So it'll be Belfry ball. You know, it's very early in the game, but uh, uh, Hornets smelled that they could uh, get a win right yeah. here. You know, this is a big win. They've won one all season. They're going to want it bad here. Here in the district tournament, sure. And, you know, and they get it inside quickly to Curry. He puts up the runner. It's going to be no. It was going to be on the floor. He's going to get the foul call, but no shot. And the foul is going to go against uh, Gabriel Stevens. 149 to go here in the half. It's 27-18. Phelps enjoying a nine-point advantage. Curry at the line, puts the first one up. No good. And it'll be Phelps basketball. There's going to be a foul called. Well, Belfry wanted to walk, but uh, foul's going to be against Hatfield. So Hatfield picked up his third personal foul. The bonus situation here for Phelps as Matt Maynard returns to the ball game now for the Pirates. At the line will be C.H. Smith. Smith puts up the first one. It's no good. Rebound in there by Phelps. Put back up. No good. And the ball loose on the floor. Belfry comes up with it. Priest throws it down underneath to Howard, streaking to the basket, and it's going to be out of bounds. Back to the Phelps Hornets on the rebound. Thought Mayhorn might have knocked that one out, but uh, Wendell Wallen says different. And Phelps having a hard time getting the ball in bounds. Finally, they throw it up court. And that's going to be Smith called for a walk. Yeah, he didn't believe it, but that, that was a good call. Yep. He, he saw a man up near the basket and wanted to get it to him and took off running with the basketball. Phelps still enjoying their largest lead, nine at 27 to 18, with 136 to go in the half. Priest bringing it into the front court now for Belfry. Takes over on the left side, puts up the long three. It's good. And 27, 21 now. Stratton gets it up quickly to Mayhorn. They get it down to Daniels. Daniels might have got by with a walk there, but he'll put up an 18-footer, no good. And Smith coming away with the rebound for Belfry. And in the back court now with it, Priest. Priest bringing it into the front court. One minute left here in the half. Down in the corner of the shot by Maynard, I believe. No good. Rebound by Priest. Priest takes it into the paint, puts up the runner. No good. And this time the rebound comes off to Phelps, C.H. Smith. And here comes Josh Stratton walking the ball up the floor now for the Phelps Hornets. 42 seconds to go in this first half. I think the Hornets are missing uh, Melvin McCoy, who's on the bench yeah, right now. I believe so. And Stratton kicks it over to Stevens. Stevens has it, is it, has it knocked loose. Stratton picks it up, and he's going to take it down into the paint, puts up the runner off the glass. No good. Smith knocks it up, and Belfry will come down with the rebound. Priest has it in the front court. 20 seconds to go. Priest is going to drive, tries to throw it down low. Nice. Pass down underneath to David Curry, and he's fouled on the shot. I was wondering if they were going to call that big push in there by Smith. The personal defense number 30, C.A. Smith, is second. 
And that'll send David Curry to the line to shoot two. Oh, for three tonight at the free throw line. Curry's free throw is good. Mm. I'll tell you, that one wanted to come out, but finally fell back through. Into the ball game now for Belfry is Adam Warren, number 24. Second free throw is no good off the rim, and Stratton coming away with the strong rebound. And a foul by Maynard in the backcourt. Reach in with 14 seconds to go. That's something you don't want to see if you're the coach. Team number 10. Second foul, two shots at the other end now. Shooting the double bonus for Hornets number 20, Josh Stratton. It's only a, it's a five point ball game, 27-22, Phelps. And then Stratton makes one, making it 28-22. Stratton with one more free throw coming up here. And the second one is good. It's 29-27. Here comes Priest back the other way. We've got 10 seconds to play now in the first half. They get it over quickly to Maynard. Maynard pushes it out, gets it over to Curry. Curry down in the corner. Priest for three. Well overshot. And that will be the end of the first half. It's Phelps, 29. Belfry, 22. This may be an upset in the making, though. We'll be right back with some halftime stats and comments on your Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas so you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Smart devices make our lives better, but they're also susceptible to hackers. That's why Plume helps identify when a device is acting strange. You mean like talking to itself for no reason? I'm talking to the audience. Remember that. So, welcome back to uh, Belfry High School, the 60th District Tournament. Close ball game right now. Uh, it's been mostly Phelps in the uh, first half. They've hung on to that lead. Uh, right now it's a uh, seven point lead, 29 to 22 here at halftime. Both teams uh, with about two and a half minutes just now coming back out onto the court. Taking a look at uh, some of the Statistics for the first half. First of all, for Belfry, Doug Howard with four points on the night. David Curry is one out of five on the free throw line for his one point. And Zane Smith has seven points, five coming from the strike, five out of six. Chase Priest with uh, two three pointers, one out of two on the line, seven points. Clifton Hatfield picked up three fouls in the first half and did not score. Uh, Josh Cullip coming off the bench with three points, one out of two on the free throw line. And let's see, Adam Warren got into the game briefly, uh, not scoring. Matt Maynard also uh, looking at uh, Phelps tonight. Melvin McCoy, one out of two on the line for one point, picked up those three fouls, and I think that kind of hurt Phelps there in the, uh, in the second quarter, missing their center. Eddie Gentry with two points in the game so far. Josh Stratton with eight points, four of those from the free throw line, four out of four. Josh Daniels, what a big half he had. Uh, he was uh, two out of four on the line, picked up uh, three big trays in the first half for 15 points. 
after two quarters. And uh, Justin Mayhorn with two points. Those coming from the line, two out of two, one out of three for C.H. Smith on the stripe. And Gabriel Stevens into the game tonight, picking up a personal foul. Had uh, one player from each team and a little bit of foul trouble. Clifton Hatfield for Belfry. And uh, for Phelps, Melvin McCoy, as we mentioned, uh, Daniels has two, and Smith has two. Uh, for Belfry, two on Howard and two on Maynard. Uh, rebound situation, 17 for Belfry, 13 for Phelps unofficially. We talked about the turnovers, not bad at all. I mean, any coach in the world would take five to two. Belfry is turning the ball over five times. Phelps uh, took care of the ball very well. Uh, only two turnovers from three-point land. Belfry went uh, two out of eight in the first half. Both of those belonging to Priest for 25%. Uh, and uh, Phelps, three out of six from three-point land. And uh, all three of those belonging to Josh Daniels. Of course, that's 50% there. And uh, from the free-throw line, 10 out of 15 for Phelps, 67%. And for uh, Belfry, uh, eight out of 15 for 53%. Back with the second half. Here's Charlie Pinson. Thanks a lot, Bo. Uh, Stratton has the ball for Phelps. Gets it over to Daniels. And Daniels tries to get it down low. He does. McCoy takes it. Kicks it back outside. And let's see. That is uh, Mayhorn with it. And gets it over to Daniels. Daniels being guarded over there by Howard. They get back to Stratton. And Phelps again very methodical on the offensive end here. Trying to work for a good look. And so far, it's paid off for him as they get it back out to Daniels. He'll put up the three at the top of the key, way off. Rebound comes off to Smith of Belfry. He'll get it out to Priest. Priest will walk it up the floor now. He'll reset his offense. Priest runs it down on the right side, takes it down low, and he's thrown out of bounds as Smith couldn't corral it. It'll be Phelps basketball. Belfry going to go with some full-court pressure now. They get it into Daniels. Daniels loses it. As Howard picks it up, puts up the turnaround, no good. And Priest steps out of bounds with it. He'll go back the other way for Phelps. It looks like Belfry going to go with a little man press here. Stratton has it in the backcourt now. Kicks it up to Daniels. Daniels runs down the loose ball. He'll take it all the way to the basket, mm. and he's going to be called for the charge. Yep. <laughs> kind of ran yeah, right over lowered that shoulder, yep. Had filled it. That, makes, third, that hits his third foul. Yep. And Hatfield bringing the ball up the floor now. Keeps it off over there to Curry. Howard now at top of the key back to Hatfield. And they try to get it down low. Zane Smith goes up. Get up, get up. And he goes in. Well guarded under there by Mayhorn. And here comes. Phelps back the other way with it. They get it up quickly to Daniels. And he'll spin, puts it up off the glass. No good. Ball tapped back out. It'll stay. Well, Phelps runs it back down. Mayhorn has it in the corner. He's double teamed. Tries to split the double team. We'll have a jump ball called. Coach yeah. Hunt wanting a timeout, but the uh, jump ball was called before he could get it. And it'll go back to Belfry. 29-24, five-point ball game. Phelps on top. And here comes Belfry back the other way. Priest gets it over to Hatfield. Hatfield back out on top to Curry. Howard with it now. Tries to go down inside to Zane Smith again. He puts it up off the glass this time. No good. Goes in, gets his own rebound, puts it back up and in. Smith stayed with it right there and uh, picked up his 11th point. A 4-0 run coming here for Belfry and a walk. Called in there on Melvin McCoy. It'll go back to Belfry. A 30-second timeout trying to be called over here by Phelps. And Dale Hunt will get it. It'll be a 35-53 to go in third. It's 29-26 as Belfry is closed within three. Well, uh, only two turnovers in the first half for Phelps. And already in the second half, they picked up three turnovers here. Tell you what, it, you know, Belfry turning up that defense and maybe taking advantage of uh, Phelps's legs a little bit here. As you know, they got to be getting tired as they played a long ball game last night against Pike County Central. As he thanks his sponsors, we'll read the TV sponsors to you one more time. First, it's Appalachian Wireless, the law offices of Vanover, Hall, and Bartley, Dr. Michael McKinney, the Pikeville Methodist Hospital, 
Glenn Martin Hammond, attorney at law. Seasons in. Keens Homes, R.S. Jones Funeral Home. Kent Carter, Mike Lucas, attorneys at law. And Citizens Daycare of Phelps. It'll be Belfry ball here as we come back. Howard. Trying to bring it in off the baseline. Hands it inside and knocked away. Howard goes back and gets it. Hatfield for three, no good. Josh Stratton comes away with the rebound now for Phelps. Stratton brings it up the floor now for the Hornets. He's double teamed and he kicks it down low in there. Shot put up, no good by Gentry. And it'll go back to Belfry as the ball's tapped out of bounds. What a bumping inside. Yeah. Some no calls here. And Belfry basketball as Priest will bring it up the floor. Priest brings it into the front court now. Gets it over there to Hatfield. Back out to Smith out on top with it. Go down to Howard. He throws it down low. It's going to be out of bounds off of David Curry. So it'll go back to Phelps. 5.15 to go here in the third. It's still a three-point goal game, 29-26. Now four. Mayhorn gets it in the backcourt, and he's going to be fouled in there, maybe on Zane Smith. Yep, it's going to be uh, Smith picking up the personal foul. That'll be his second personal foul. Four. It'll be Phelps basketball again. Full court pressure coming by the Pirates. They get it into McCoy. McCoy gives it back over there to Daniels. Daniels trying to go down low, gets the ball back, puts up a jump shot, no good. Rebound in there, Gentry, and he has it knocked loose, and Howard comes away with the basketball for Belfry. Howard pushing it up, and he's going to be, oh, blocking call. Oh, I don't know about that one, Bo. I was, I, I was ready to call that charge. He was set up and had his arms crossed. And the, the big thing about that, too, Charlie, and Melvin McCoy, that's his fourth personal yep. foul. I don't know about that one, but... Uh, no, I, I agree with you. I didn't care much about that one either. But it'll put Howard at the line to shoot two free throws. He makes one. He'll have another. And it looks like Phelps is going to call another 30-second timeout here. Two-point ball game, 29-27, 4.56 to go in the third. And it's been all Belfry here in the third quarter as they've outscored Phelps, uh, what, 6-0? Well, it was 29 to 22 at halftime. 5 0. 5 0, okay. But a 5 0 run for Belfry, and that five point run's a big run in this ballgame. Make me count there. Uh, <laughs> so Melvin McCoy picked up three personal fouls in the first half, and as we mentioned, I, I think uh, they missed him kind of in the second quarter there, and they had to sit out most of that second quarter. Doesn't get to play a whole lot in the second half before he picks nope. up that fourth foul. And he's going to sit probably till about uh, at least midway of the fourth, I would imagine, here, Bo. Unless, unless they get in trouble and have to have him here. Two-point ball game. And we've got Doug Howard at the line to shoot one more free throw here. And Howard's second is good. It's a one-point ball game, 29-28. Here comes Phelps back the other way with it. Daniels gets it over to Stratton. Stratton back to Daniels. Now Daniels will try to bring it into the front court. Gets it down low to Mayhorn. And underneath, that is Smith with it. C.H. Smith puts it in, and it's the first two of the half for Phelps. For Gentry, I'm sorry. I thought it was number 30. I did, too. I believe it was. Okay. <laughs> Shot by Howard. No good. Fight for the rebound. And Smith comes away with it. Puts it up, and he's fouled. And Smith, I think, will pick up the foul here, though. And Zane Smith will return to the line here. So the uh, guy that came in to replace McCoy is in a little bit of foul trouble now. He has three personal fouls. Free throw up and good by Zane Smith. It's a two-point ball game, 31-29. He can cut it to one here, and no good as the rebound comes off to Smith. And here comes Phelps back the other way with it. Stratton going against Priest in the backcourt. 
Finally brings it into the front court. They're trying to double team him. He's taking it all the way down into the paint. Puts it up off the run and in. Found the spot. Uh, left side of the lane there. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Phelps back out by four. 33-29. Back out on top. Howard a long two, but the rebound comes off to Smith on the miss. And here comes Phelps back the other way with it as Stratton will bring it up again slowly. Smith doing a good job coming in in reserve. Stratton tries to get it out. Daniels for three. And that one is short. Rebound comes off to Priest of Belfry. Priest brings it out, gets it over to Howard. He wanted to shoot. He'll drive, puts it up off the run. No good, but he's fouled. Mayhorn picking up personal foul. That's his uh, first personal foul. Team foul number four. And that'll put Doug Howard back on the line to shoot two as Howard, a pretty good free throw shooter, rolls this one in. He'll have one more. Gabriel Stevens checking into the ball game now as Mayhorn will take a rest. Howard with one more free throw. And this one no good. Zane Smith gets the rebound, puts it up, no good. Fights it, gets it again, puts it back up, no good, and he's fouled. Zane Smith battling inside, and Gentry picks up the personal foul. That'll send Zane Smith back to the line. It's a three-point ball game, 33-30. 3.20 to go here in the third. Smith. Puts this one in, and Belfry chipping away at that lead. He's down to two now. I think they corrected that foul they got wrong there a minute ago. They said his first that time. And the second one is good. It's now a one-point ball game, 33-32. Stevens into the backcourt, gets it up quickly to Gentry. Gentry now gives it back to Stratton. He'll reset the offense. Phelps ball, Stratton takes it. Wants the three, gives it down to Daniels. He'll put up the jump stop in the paint. Good. A little bit quiet here in the second half. Uh, picks up his first bucket of the half. He has 17 now. And 2.55 to go in the third. Here comes Belfry. Ball knocked away in there by Gentry, but it'll stay with the Pirates. Edward. Edward Gentry. <laughs> yes. And it'll be Belfry basketball. Howard trying to go down underneath to Smith. He does. Smith pumps, puts it up. No good. It's going to be on the floor, so the shot will not count. That may be the fourth on Smith, too. And uh, so there it is. Smith. So that means uh, McCoy and Smith, uh, his replacement, uh, both will have four personal fouls. And looks like it'll be Maynard checking in for Belfry. And here comes Mayhorn back into the ball game for Phelps. And Smith will take a seat. Here comes the inbounds pass by Howard. He tries to kick it outside and intercept it out there by Stratton. He'll take it all the way to the basket, lays it up and in. It's 37-32, back to a five-point ball game. Phelps on top. Here comes Priest into the front court now for Belfry. Priest getting ready to set his offense. He wants to take it into the paint himself. Puts up the runner. No good. Howard comes away with, I mean, Stratton comes away with the rebound. Really forced that shot up badly. Yep. And Stratton finding his way up into the front court. Takes it down into the paint. He's going to take it all the way coast to coast. And whoa, rolls out. And we'll have a foul going back the other way. I think it may be on Josh Stratton. That could very easily have gone against Curry, but Stratton will pick up the first no foul. That'll be his second personal foul, and that should be the bonus. It is. It'll be one and one now coming up for Curry. Josh Stratton is second, team number seven. Only one out of five at the line tonight, Sir Curry. Five-point ball game, 37-32. Phelps. Curry's free throw is good as it rolls in. He'll get one more. discussion out there. Yep, the officials he's getting a little rough in there and Dale Conn saying let's calm it down a little bit gentlemen. 
And here comes the second free throw coming up by Curry. Four point ball game, 37-33. Curry can cut it to three, nope. Rebound comes off to Daniels. He'll get it back to Stratton. Two minutes, 10 seconds to go in the third. Stratton bringing it in the front court now for the Hornets. Stratton. Backing out front, waiting on somebody to come and get him. And Stratton, now he'll put it on the floor again. Gets it, picks up his dribble, goes down underneath Gentry, and he's going to be fouled. Well, let's see. He didn't catch that number. It might have been. It was Smith, number 40. Uh, third uh, third foul. And they're going to leave him in. I thought they were going to take him out as they bring Cullop in. But uh, Curry will take a seat. Daniels gets it over to Stratton. Stratton at the top of the free throw line. Loses it, but Gentry picks it up, puts up the shot. No, he gets blocked in there. Rebound. Picked up by Bayhorn, it goes. Here comes Stevens, takes it to the basket, has it blocked out of bounds by Smith. He'll stay with Phelps. And Phelps, uh, Belfer going that big team inside. Now they get it in quickly. Mayhorn puts it up off the glass, no good. Five for the rebound, it'll go back to Belfry as it goes off the hand of Stevens. Here comes Belfry back the other way. Yeah, you got a little spelling lesson there, Bo. I'll tell you. Here comes Priest into the front court with it. He's over on the right side, trying to work it down low to the big man. There's Howard on the drive, puts it up off the glass and in. And it's a two-point ball game, 37-35. Here comes Phelps back the other way. Get it up to Stevens. Stevens into the front court with it. He's going to take it all the way to the basket. No, he passed. Nice pass off shot. Good in there by Mayhorn. Well, he got away with the walk, I think, yeah. uh, back up the court here, but a nice assist there. And only 53 seconds to go in the third. It's Priest with it for Belfry. Gets it out on top. Howard puts up the long three. No good. And rebound, Gentry. And here comes Phelps back the other way with it. They get it off to Stratton. Stratton bringing it into the front court. He guarded out there by Howard. Stratton splits two defenders, gets it back over to Gentry. Back to Stevens. Stevens, he's going to take it in between two, all the way to the basket, up and in. Little confusion, uh, the Belfry defense there, and uh, that's a little guy to squirt right through. Helps back out by six now, 41, 40 to 35. Only 50, 10 seconds to go here, what, 12 seconds now to go. They get it over in the corner, that'll be Smith on the drive. He puts up the short jumper, good. And here comes Stratton's going to be called for the walk in the backcourt. Good call there is... He's making, trying to make a move with it. It'll be Belfry basketball with 3.4 seconds here in the third. It's a four-point ball game, 41-37. Plenty of time to get off a good shot here. Substitution in there for maybe a shooter or two. Howard. Trying to find get the ball in. He finally gets it in. Yeah, almost. Yeah, Cullop takes it away from the defender. Puts the shot up. No good. At the end of three, it's 41 37 Phelps. We'll be back in one minute on the Intermountain Sports Network. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird, we never get hacked. Nope, no we don't. from each other. That's true. I'm sure they know each other. Smith puts it up and in for Belfry on the other end over two Phelps defenders. Mm. Oh, yep. 
He got out of bounds. He got by with a foul there, though, though. I believe. Yeah. I believe he took more arm than basketball that time. I believe you're right. Phelps will have the basketball, 7-14 to play. Good hustle, though, by Smith. Yeah, he was. Daniels gets it in quickly to Gentry. And Gentry has it knocked away in there by Curry, but they'll be called for the foul. And that should be a second personal. Team foul number three, I believe. So uh, right. that helps a long way from the bonus. Yep. And they get it in quickly to Stevens. Stevens tries to bring it into the front court, loses it, but goes back and gets it. And he's going to be called for walking. I don't know. I, well, I guess that ball wasn't knocked away, was it? He just lost it. 43-39, four-point ball game, seven minutes to go. Here comes Priest over down underneath to Smith. He puts it up and in. And definitely, you know, Belfry's game plan. That's 20 for Zane. Yep. And they get it up quickly to Gentry, this Phelps. Gentry in the front court with it now, gives it over to Stevens. Stevens will get it back to Stratton, and he'll reset the offense. Stratton out at the top of the key. It's a two-point ball game, 43-41. Stratton has it stolen away in there. And here, that's Warren, I think. Nope. The drive down there by Howard, no good, but he's fouled. Thought I saw 24, but it had to be Curry out there on the steal. It'll be Doug Howard at the line with a chance to tie this one. Still have a uh, second personal foul, full timeout. 43-41, Phelps will be back on the Intermountain Sports Network. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life, giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Sharing a big family moment, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds and plume Wi-Fi. Call or go online to learn more. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. I did, that, did really have to, isn't it, TV? And welcome back to Belfry High School. 6.28 to go here in the ball game. 43-41. Phelps up by two here in the 60th district tournament the winner of this one well the winner of this one goes to the regional though one way or the other yeah. Doug Howard at the line for two free throws makes the first one it's down to a one point game 43-42 now it'll have one more puts up the second one it is no good coming off and Zane Smith came away with the rebound Howard goes back and gets it and he gets fouled on the putback Mayhorn picking up the first foul. That will be his second. And Bill Hunt arguing that there was an over-the-back call up the way here at midcourt. And we'll send Doug Howard back to the line to shoot two more. And the first one is good. And we're all tied at 43 with 6.25 to go in the contest. Howard could give Belfry their first lead, I believe, though. And does, it's 44-43. Here comes Daniels with it, gets it back to Howard, or to Stratton. Stratton, trying to get it up quickly. We're gonna have a foul out there on David Curry as he's trying to take the ball away from Gentry. That's his uh, third personal foul, team foul number four. And uh, you know, this is the time of the game now. It's getting down to in the fourth quarter when the Phelps will really start feeling that tiredness if they are tired from last night. Yeah, Belfry's been able to do a lot of substitutions too, so their legs are fairly fresh. 
drive in there, put up an end by Mayhorn. And he's not showing any leg tired, leg weariness now. Belfry forgot to play defense that time. Yep. 45-44. Phelps back up by one. They get it out top to Priest. Back to Hatfield. He kicks it back to Priest. Priest down in the corner. Howard for three. It's good. It's 47-45. A two-point lead now for Belfry. And Phelps will have the basketball. Four-court pressure again by Belfry. They get it in quickly to Gentry. He gets it back up to Stevens. Stevens loses it in the backcourt as Smith comes away with the steal. And down in the corner here, the ball knocked loose. And Stevens comes up with the loose ball here. And we're going to have a foul called on Belfry this time. Priest said, I don't know what I do, but you know, the official said you grabbed him. Just enough. Second personal, team foul number five. And it'll be full court pressure again by the Belfry Pirates. And they try to get it into Stratton. He's caught that in the corner. Back to Daniels. Daniels bringing it up the floor quickly now. He's going to take it all the way to the basket. Passes it off. Fake put up and in in there by Mayhorn as he is all of a sudden just showed up for Phelps here in the last couple of minutes. Eight points in the game. Six of them coming here uh, lately. 47 all. 5-13 to go in the ball game. They get it quickly over to Priest. Down in the corner. Howard for another three. This one's short. And the rebound comes off to Josh Stratton. Stratton will push it up for the Phelps Hornets. Stratton back out and reset his offense now. Right at the top of the key with it. Then nobody gets it, gets it off to Stevens. Back to Stratton. Now he's trying to work it over now. It'll be Daniels at the top of the key with it. Daniels going to take it down into paint, puts it up on the run and in. 49-47. Here comes Belfry back the other way. We're going to have a Belfry timeout as Phelps takes the two-point lead. Let's see, is it going to be a full timeout? 4.36 to go in the ballgame. It's 49-47 Phelps. We'll be right back on your Intermountain Sports Network. Sharing a big family moment. Relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age. Gearheart Broadband keeps your family connected with consistent speeds and plume Wi-Fi. Call or go online to learn more. With families spending more time at home together this year, it's a great time to level up your internet for the speed and Wi-Fi you need to power game consoles and computers at peak performance. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to upgrade. Any home can be improved with better Wi-Fi. That's why Gearheart Broadband offers Plume Wi-Fi, a reliable signal throughout your home, enhanced by mobile app features. Call or click Gearheart Broadband to learn more. High school 49-47. Phelps on top by two here. 436 to go in the ball game. And what a ball game has turned out to be. Yeah, one guy that's really come up big here in the second half is Doug Howard from Belfry. He's got 15 points and uh uh, 11 of those here in the second half. And the ball out top. Priest back over to Hatfield. He thought about the three, but he'll kick it back out to Priest. Priest drives, kicks it back out to Hatfield. He'll put up the three this time, and it's short. Fight for the rebound, and Smith comes away with it, and he's going to be fouled. And Smith and Mayhorn going at it in there, and Mayhorn will pick up the foul. That's his third, all here in the uh, second half. Two shot foul coming up here, one way or the other for Zane Smith. I think Smith close to getting a technical in there too, as he got a little uh, aggravated on the, the contact. He'll make one free throw. One point ball game, 49-48. Smith puts up the second, it's also good. Well, the big man's shooting free throws pretty well tonight. And here comes Phelps. They get it into Stratton. Stratton puts it on the floor, gets it up quickly to Mayhorn. Mayhorn will have it knocked away in there by 
Hatfield, it'll be <laughs> Pelfrey Ball, or Pelt Ball. Had to chuck a little bit. Hatfield, a super job. Great defense, probably prevented two, but when he didn't come up the basketball, he was a little bit disappointed down there. Stratton has it, kicks it outside to Mayhorn, and he'll be fouled out there by Doug Howard. That'll be his third personal foul. Belfry's still not in the bonus. But Belfry's starting to get in some individual foul trouble. The next one, though, it will be uh, the bonus for Phelps. Phelps has the basketball. Daniels gets it into Stratton. Hatfield over there bellying him up, and it'll be Howard with the steal. They get it back over to Priest. He puts the shot up off the glass and in, and Phelps on top 51 to 49. Stevens gets it back to St Stratton. Stratton gets it up again to Stevens. Stevens brings it into the front court. He'll be fouled in there by Smith. That'll be the fourth on Zane Smith, and now uh, Phelps will be in the bonus here. They'll go to the line for the one and one. But uh, back to the turnovers, uh, we talked about that uh, at halftime. Phelps with only two turnovers uh, at halftime. They've got 11 this half, Charlie. Yeah, that's true, but uh, Belfry really putting the pressure defense on them here. They'll take away, I, I wonder if that's gonna take away their legs. But Phelps keeps fighting back. Yeah. Free throw up and good in there by Stevens. It's a one point game, 51-50. And Belfry wants to call a timeout to ask the shooter. And it sees it. That many timeouts, so we're gonna run low on timeouts, I would think here. And let's see, it's a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Let's give the uh, television sponsors one more time here. It's Appalachian Wireless, the law offices of Vanover Hall and Bartley, Dr. Michael McKinney, Pikeville Methodist Hospital, and Glenn Martin Hammond Law Office, Seasons Inn, Keens Home, R.S. Jones Funeral Home, Kent Carter and Mike Lucas, Attorneys at Law, and Citizens Drug of Phelps. And Bo, a one-point ball game. Stevens can tie it up with this free throw. Yep, and uh, this one looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Of course, uh, may not be even uh, finished in regulation time. Well, that's very possible here. A yeah, big foul in there this time on uh, Smith. He picks up one more. He's out of the ball game, and that would be crucial for Belford. Devastating. And Stevens with one more free throw. This one is good, and we're all tied at 51. Here comes Belfry back again the other way. Priest with the basketball. Gets it over to Hatfield. Back over to Priest. They get it down in the corner to Howard. Back out on top. Stolen away in there by Stevens as he'll take it all the way to the basket. He is fouled, and the shot is going no good. Oh. Wonder who touched who touched that one in the net, Bo? Belfry or Phelps? Well, Hatfield picks up his fourth personal foul. If Belfry touches that in the net, I think it's goaltending, don't you? Yeah, well, that's supposed to be the rule. Yep. And the officials saying no, it came off, so I, but that'll put Stevens back at the line for one plus the, well, I guess he'd be shooting two as he was going to the basket. Free throw is no good off the back of the rim. He'll have one more. Coach Hatfield arguing something out there with Wendell Wallen. One more free throw now coming for Steven. And this one rolls in. 52-51, Phelps by one. 3.25 to go in the ball game as Priest brings it up for Belford. Over, back over to Hatfield. They go down in the corner, back out to Hatfield. And we're going to have a, have a foul this time on Stevens. I tell you, Belford get awful close here on a couple of occasions. Stevens will pick up the foul. <laughs> they, don't, they don't watch it. This one may get a little out of hand here in a minute. Well, he said his second foul. I've got him down with three. I don't know which one of us is right. But at any rate. He's got, I see the scorekeeper holding up three. Okay. Free throw up and good in there by Hatfield. He'll have one more. We're all tied at 52. And don't 
go anywhere, folks. This one's going to go down to the wire and maybe maybe more as the second free throw. No good. Five for the rebound. Hatfield comes away with it. He kicks it back outside to Priest. Priest backs it back out front. He'll reset the offense. Gets it over to Hatfield. Back over to Priest. Priest at the top of the key. Gets it back to Hatfield. Down to Howard. Howard tries to go inside to Smith. Smith puts it up. No good. Five for the rebound. And it'll be... Howard has it, and they're going to call a foul on the floor. No basket. Well, I'll tell you what. Howard came up with the basketball, but uh, they got to give some credit to Hatfield there. He was yeah. the one that really saved that for Belfry. And, uh, so the foul is on 42 uh, Gentry, and that'll send uh, Howard up to the line for two more. Howard, six out of eight up there with 15 points tonight. Getting 16 as he knocked down the first one. 53-52. Belfry back on top by one. Second one is good as well. It's a two-point ball game. Belfry back it out of their pressure on the made free throw there. Stratton into the front court with it. Gets it over to Stevens. Back to Stratton. And now they try to get it over to Daniels. It'll be kicked in there by Hatfield. It'll go back to Phelps. I don't know if it has anything to do with it or not, but Hatfield has four personal fouls. They may not want to press so much for that reason. Well, that's true. Well, Smith also with four. That one knocked out of bounds over there by Priest. He'll stay with the Hornets. Stratton will bring it inbounds. Back out on top to Stevens. Stevens back to Stratton. Talking about fouls, I was thinking about Melvin McCoy with those four. Looks like he's ready to come in with that the first opportunity. Yep, and here's Stevens back out top to St Stratton. Stratton, I know what to do with him. Finally gets it over to Daniels. Daniels is going to drive, put up the jump stop again, rolls it in. We're tied at 54 now with 2.10 to go. Such good touch. Uh, got the bounce because of that touch. And here comes Balfrey back the other way with it. They get it over quickly back out to Hatfield. He goes over to Priest. Priest wanting to get it down in the corner. They try to go into Smith. He gets it. Puts the shot up. Has it blocked, but he's fouled. All night long. <laughs> yep. And he's done a good job from the line so far. Third personal foul on Stratton. Zane Smith is 10 out of 12 on the free throw line tonight. That's pretty good. Pretty good. 22 points, and then he gets another one. Makes it 23 now. 55-54. Melvin McCoy checking back into the ball game now for Phelps. 152 to go in this one. It's a one-point ball game. Make it two as it's 56-54. Stratton bringing the ball up now for Phelps. Stratton thought about the three. Kicks it back over to Stevens. Stevens will get it back out to Daniels. Daniels over to Stratton. They're trying to look down, down low, maybe. And they get it over to Daniels. Daniels wanted to drive, backs it back out to McCoy. And McCoy pulls inside, gives it off. Gentry puts it up off the glass and in. Nice ball movement there. We're all tied at 56 now. 115 to go. Seesaw. Our two heavyweight fighters going at it toe to toe here. And they go down in the corner to Howard. He wanted to go down low to Smith, not there. And we've got a foul out there as the pass goes into Curry. That'll be on Gentry. Third personal foul on Gentry. And uh, Curry, uh, big free throws here at this point in the game, uh, as close as it's been. He's only two out of seven, Charlie, from the free throw line tonight. Yep, and a big one's coming here with one minute exactly to go in the contest. First one is good. It's a one-point lead now for Belfry, 57-56. One more time here coming up. Curry eyes the basket. This one is on its way. No good, and Daniels comes away with the rebound, and he gets it back to Stratton. Stratton gets it up quickly to Gentry. And Gentry will bring it back out and wait on his point guard with it. Stratton 
Getting the call from the sideline now, setting his offense. Stratton takes it inside a little bit, gives it over to Daniels. Daniels with the jump, stop off the glass, no good, fight for the rebound. And it'll be Belt, no, it's still loose on the floor, and it's going to go out of bounds, back to Phelps, off of Hatfield. I couldn't see. I got up, got to stand <laughs> up just in time. I don't know if the camera got to see it or not. And it'll be out top, it goes to Stevens. 30 seconds to go in this one. It's a one-point ball game, Belfry on top. Stevens kicks it back out, Stratton, they go over to Daniels. Daniels drives, kicks it back again to McCoy out top. That's Steven down underneath. Gentry puts it up and in. It's a two, one point ball game. 58 57. 10 seconds to go in the contest. Phelps on top by one. We've got a timeout. Belfry, it's a full timeout. We'll take a break. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Well, fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Gonna believe this. What's going on? The neighbors got hacked again. Weird. We never get hacked. Nope. No, we don't. Belfry trails by one, but they have the basketball. 10.7 seconds to go, and here comes the basketball. They get it in quickly to Priest. Priest brings it into the front court. He takes it out the top of the key, gets it over. And there's the Hatfield for two. No good. Goes in, gets his own rebound. It's out of bounds. It'll go back to Belfry. Point three seconds. Point three seconds. And this is just a going to throw it in. And Phelps didn't want to take this one for granted because they can get it up. It's going to be tough. They, all they're going to be able to do is throw it in and throw it up at the basket as Phelps is going to take a timeout here, I believe. Uh, you know who they're going to go to if they possibly can, and they're going to they're going to try to get it in. They're going to try to get it in down low quickly to uh, Smith off the blocks if they can, and then I think their second uh, option would be probably Howard out of the corner for the three. Well, you know it'll be hard to shoot a three with point three seconds. Well, that's true. Yeah, they're going to hold up. They're going to hold up to the basket. I, I expect him to put Cullop back in here. Yeah. And go with the two big men under the basket. I don't think he's going to, but that's what I was thinking too, Charlie. Uh, might be a good time to you put know, the other yeah. big man in there. Yeah. Go for go go into like a four man. Yeah. Go two men in a box right there. Make Phelps surround you. Throw it in between them. And let them tap it up. That's about. The, I think it's the only choice you've got. But Hatfield's not going to play it that way. Nope. It'll be Howard. Throwing in the ball, so he won't be the man taking the shot. Point three seconds. Hard. Throws in Smith, throws it up, has it knocked loose, and Phelps has won the basketball game, 58 to 57. There will be no championship game in the 60th district, Bo. Well, with this uh, format for the tournament, uh, Phelps losing the first game last night of the district tournament, and still had an opportunity to come back and. Uh, Go on to the regional tournament, and uh, this is something uh, you're going to be hearing about this down the road, and then you in the papers tomorrow and the days to come, they'll be talking about why did Phelps have an opportunity to lose and then come back and go on to the regional. So, yep. I don't know. That's Phelps, just the way it is. The first win of the season for the Phelps Hornets. Of course, what a big as, one. as we said a while ago, though, Phelps is now undefeated when leading at halftime, Bo. Their first halftime lead of the season. Their first win of the season, 
and what a basketball game it was. Well, you know, Charlie, I had a feeling that this was going to happen. I've talked to uh, talked to Ken Hall back at the station before I left today, and we were talking about yep. it before the game. Before the I felt game. like uh, I didn't predict Phelps to win it, but I said uh, I think Phelps could be very competitive tonight, and they could possibly. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if Phelps didn't come out uh, winning this ball game over Belfry, and uh, that was certainly the case. And so, uh, I guess it's congratulations is all we can say. I guess really the only thing that won this one was Hart. As yeah. Phelps came in here, they, you know, they had to be leg weary and wore out, but they were able to to fight it out and come back and put a win on the board. I'll tell you what, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with a wrap up right here on your Intermountain Sports Network. Use your smart home speaker to arm and disarm the system. A full line of cameras for both indoor and outdoor areas. So you can keep an eye on your property no matter where you are. Get an early alert for water leaks before you lose thousands of dollars to expensive flood damage. One easy to use interface for your phone and the slimline touchpad. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. This changes everything. Gearheart TV is available now. It's the digital TV service delivered to your smart TV or connected devices by Gearheart Broadband. Sign up now at mygtv.com. Smart devices make our lives better, but they're also susceptible to hackers. That's why Plume helps identify when a device is acting strange. You mean like talking to itself for no reason? I'm talking to the audience. We live in a modern, connected world. Your smart home security system should keep pace with your on-the-go life giving you a view of your home and the ability to control what happens at your front door as if you were there. The best deterrent, peace of mind, at home or away. Protect what's important to you. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Seconds to try to get something off and, and try to win this ball game here tonight, but Phelps uh, came out and got on top early in the ball game. They stayed pretty much on top until the second half, and then it was really seesaw in the third and fourth quarter of this game. Taking a look at the scoring tonight for the uh, Belfry Pirates, Doug Howard with a big night. He he played hard, especially in the uh, second half. He uh, picked up uh, 13 points in the second half, including a three-pointer, a 17 for the night, eight out of 10 on the free throw line. David Curry with three points tonight, three out of nine on the stripe, and he's got to feel bad about that, but uh, played very hard as usual. Uh, 24 points tonight for Zane Smith. Works inside, goes to the free throw line a, a lot, and he went to the free throw line a, a total of uh, 15 times and picked up 13 of those from the uh, uh, free throw stripe. So uh, Actually, that should have been 12 out of 14, excuse me, 12 out of 14 from the line, 24 points of the night for Zane. Nine points for Chase uh, Priest, hit those two three-pointers early in the ball game, and, uh, and then uh, wasn't hurt much from later on in the game, picked up only two points of the second half, a total of nine on the night, and uh, one point for Clifton Hatfield, and one out of two on the line, Josh Cullip, one out of two on the line, he had three points tonight, also playing uh, Matt Maynard, and uh, I guess that was it uh, as far as Belfry was concerned, the people that got into the game. Melvin McCoy spent most of the night in foul trouble, picked up three fouls early in the first half, and uh, his fourth foul quickly in the second half ended up with only one point on the night, one out of two on the line. Eddie Gentry with eight points, six of those coming at crucial times. Uh, in the second half there, eight points of the night for Gentry. Josh Stratton with 12 points. Uh, he went uh, four out of four on the stripe, and uh, uh, looks like uh, Phelps did a great job at the free throw line. Of course, with the one-point game, you, you need to hit those free throws. Josh Daniels had 15 points in the first half, only, uh, well, only six of the second half, so he quietened down a little bit. He had those uh, three uh, pointers, three of them in the first half. Two out of four on the line. Eight points of the night for Ju uh, Justin Mayhorn, who came in, played big in a reserve role for Melvin McCoy, especially two out of two on the line. C.H. Smith with three points, one out of three on the line. And Gabriel Stevens with five points. He went three out of four from the uh, free throw line. The rebounding fairly even to the second half. Phelps hung tough on the boards. Uh, Ten and Belfry with 12. Turnover seven. Uh, Belfry and uh, 
11 for uh, Phelps. So a big difference there. And that's kind of a surprise since uh, Phelps played so well uh, in this game that uh, especially there in the second half picking up 11 to Belfry seven. But uh, uh, in the second half Belfry one out of three from uh, three pointers and uh, uh, three three point attempts uh, as, as a matter of fact I don't think uh, Phelps didn't even hit a three pointer in the second half 0 for 2 in the second half so the final score 58 57 winners Phelps Hornets what a basketball game Bo you love to see them go down to the wire of course uh, <clears throat> that ends the 60th district as we said Pike Central now the district winner and Phelps the district runner up as uh, they were able to defeat Belfry so Again, like I say, with this format will be discussed and rediscussed in the weeks to come. But uh, congratulations to the Phelps Hornets for their first win on the season, and a big one it was, as it'll send them into the 15 region tournament uh, next week. So that'll just about wrap it up here from from Belfry High School. So for so the, the only thing that's left here, the 60th. Yep, we do have uh, the 60th. We'll have the uh, girls championship on Thursday. Okay. And we'll bring that action to you again. And that'll wrap us up. So for Bo Daniels, Mark Franham on camera, this is Charlie Pinson saying thank you and good night.